Alright, hey guys, uh, we're back with what I believe is part 13 of uh, my Let's Play with uh, No Quitters. Um, so, uh, basically, uh, for the majority of the game, uh, me and uh, Greece uh, were each other's greatest rivals, and we were constantly worried that the other would come and uh, invade. Uh, but now, uh, we realize that Siam is the biggest threat, and so uh, we have a temporary alliance, and uh, we'll try to work together and uh, to prevent uh, Siam from winning the game. And so once we've sufficiently crippled Siam, uh, that is, if we can, um, only then will we fight each other. Uh, so there, I was deciding uh, which tech path I wanted to follow. Um, the reason for that, is, and the reason I decided not to make a decision, was I'm not sure if uh, I'll have uranium uh, accessible to me. If I do have uranium accessible to me, then uh, the next tech I'll go to uh, will be uh, nuclear fission, uh, so that I can build uh, nuclear bombs or uh, atomic bombs. So now, uh, for the full-on military press, starting by building our experience buildings. This is my uh, secondary city. Um, this guy can produce uh, melee units. And so, in that case, it will be infantry. Uh, so, the reason that I sort of scooted around in an unusual direction here was I didn't want to tip my hat to the Iroquois that I might be settling here. Not that uh, he'd be likely to do anything about it, but uh, if you can deny information, um, you probably should. Alright, uh, now for the armory. Oh yes. We do, in fact, have much uranium, and uh, we're very lucky in that we're the only ones to have uranium on our continent. Uh, there's some uranium there. Uh, let's see how much uranium Mr. Pang has. Currently, no uranium. So, up next, we're going to head towards ballistic missiles. Um, starting with uh, nuclear missiles here. So I'm just assigning my uh, spies to the cities with the largest population.
Oh, so my uh, science screen lagged out there. What I meant to do... Um, oh no, that's fine. Uh, ballistics is necessary. It's a prerequisite for nuclear fission. So I'm on my way there. Uh, here we can start churning out more artillery. So here, um, yeah, we'll build a monument. Uh, all the other stuff that we need we'll buy. We can buy a harbor, which should give us the railroad production bonus uh, once we buy a harbor in, say, Ragasu, annex a city, change production to a courthouse and here we want to purchase a courthouse uh, change production to a harbor is four turns but to buy a harbor costs 360 change production to a harbor railroad production bonus uh, default focus So we just finished our research agreement. The last thing we need is a military academy. And now that we have oil, we can start churning out bombers. So diplomatically, completing these uh, uranium mines might not be the smartest thing to do. It might be like uh, painting a target on my back, but it will also increase the uh, hammer output on uh, my capital here. And it'll give me uh, some freedom to uh, build uh, nuclear bombs. So, uh, Siam probably just built the Hubble Space, uh, space Telescope. We can check here. Uh, yes, 
the Hubble Space Telescope. And Siam science is indeed skyrocketing. Uh, nothing a few well-placed nukes can't take care of. So after this artillery, uh, Tombuktu is going to have to start training naval units. Um, the plan will be to land, take out Zanzibar, and use that as a base of operation to strike at the Siamese. Uh, Greece has uh, started to make inroads in their uh, attack on uh, the Iroquois. Um, so I'm not sure if I should tell him not to be reckless. Um, any distraction on Siam uh, will be a good thing. Um, plus, if it happens to uh, weaken uh, Greece in the process, that's good for me in the long term. Uh, so... Uh, my trade route should come along shortly, come online shortly. Alright, so we just completed our trade route uh, to our oil island, and uh, that gave us a, a, <laughs> a nice boost to production, i.e. half a hammer. Um, we can start churning out military units now. Um, I'm going to go for a bomber. Uh, no, what we really need is the Manhattan Project. Uh, now that we have our uranium online. So being unhappy like this um, really cuts into my uh, science per turn. Uh, that's one thing that I uh, forgot. So 
that m put me back into the happy, uh, which is pretty important in terms of uh, it's, it's getting me a plus 73 um, percent bonus to my science per turn. Um, so as you can see on the demographics here, uh, we're in second place uh, on everything here, but we're still very far behind Siam. Uh, in terms of soldiers, we're pretty weak, and in terms of literacy, uh, we're nine techs behind. So, uh, as I mentioned, I need to start pumping out uh, naval units. In this case, I don't want to waste oil. Uh, I want to save that for uh, bombers. I'm going to build a submarine. So uh, this seaport could uh, majorly increase our production, or increase our production by three, but it would take several turns, uh, and at this point that might not be worth it. Um, I think I'm going to churn out a submarine here as well. So Athens is building infantry. Athens pumps 225 science per turn. Sparta uh, produces 185 science per turn and is making a hospital. We just got our railroad connection bonus. And we can now turn this tile into a farm. All right, so uh, submarines aren't going to be so useful for taking cities but they will protect our nuclear bombs. Uh, we're going to need a carrier, and then we're going to buy a nuclear bomb as soon as we finish the Manhattan Project, uh, which means this will be an undefended carrier, given that there's no... No, I think we'll definitely need the submarine to see if there are other submarines here. Then we'll build the carrier uh, then we'll buy a nuclear bomb and we'll nuke Siam. Ah, they have stealth bombers already. That's going to be rough.
So I'll pause the video here.